Hello, Sagittarius. This is Starbright. I'm here to do your reading for November the 1st through the 7th, 2020. This is not going to resonate with everyone, so please do not get mad if it's not your story. This is going to be for the sun, the moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sagittarius. Spirit of the earth, water, fire, and air. Show me the cards I need to see for Sagittarius. Is there anybody coming back? Or oh, this going to be a new person, a new job, new career? Show me cards I need to see. But uh, Sagittarius, what they hiring? Good. What do they do not know? Hmm. What should they know about? Hmm. Show me cards I need to see, Spirit. Show me the cards I need to speak to Sagittarius. Hmm. For November 1st through the 7th, 2020. Hmm. Someone is feeling betrayed. Hmm. Could be a Gemini. Or somebody's in this energy. Spirit, tell me more about this Ten of Swords. Or someone that betrayed you. This is someone trying to make a decision about you. This person want to take action. This person want to start talking to you. This is someone that's coming in very serious and controlling. This person's coming in to fight for the relationship with you. This is someone that wants to send you a message of passion. <laughs> Tell me more about this. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more. Tell me more about this person. This is someone that's still holding on to you. Could be a, a Capricorn. <laughs> This is someone to see you as very creative. This person see you as this powerful female. This person see you as someone they'll never be bored with. Hmm. This is someone that's feeling left out in the cold. This is someone that's feeling alone. This is someone to see you as this king of pentacles. This is someone who wants a stable relationship with you they see you as someone they want they see you as an ideal husband or wife person wants some positive changes with you <laughs> because this person is feeling the repercussions of their actions they want some positive changes tell me more about this tell me more tell me more this is someone that wants to equal give and take. <laughs> this is someone that's thinking about you. <laughs> this person definitely thinking about you. You're all on it. You're all on your mind. Yep, a Capricorn. Oh, this is someone very obsessed with you. Or uh, Scorpio is thinking about you. Or uh, Leo is thinking about you. Mm -hmm. They see the sun shine with you. This person see when they talk to you, when they're around you, they're happy. They're much happier when they're around you and talking to you. This person want to come in. That person want to send you some kind of romantic proposal. Spirit, tell me more about this Knight of Cups. This is someone that wants to pour all their emotions out to you. When you talk to this person, the person is going to pour it on. <laughs> this is someone that's not sleeping at nighttime. This is someone mm, staying up. The person can't be depressed because they do. They want this victory with you. And they trying to stand up at nighttime trying to see what words to say to you because they know they messed up. Mm, this is the one that's feeling sad. Some of y'all are dealing with Scorpio. Mm, this person wants to speak the truth to you. Tell me more about this. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more. Tell me more. About they had a reunion with someone. They had drinks with someone. <laughs> with someone that live at a distance. This is why they end things with you.
This is someone that's in and out their life because they do see this person as a soulmate. This is someone that had planted their seed with this person. This is someone that broke their heart, but they moved forward with this person. Hmm, this is someone that would definitely keep it uh, hiding this person from you. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Libra. Hmm, this is someone you in a cycle with this person. This is someone that wants to come in, wants to balance things out with you. The person wants the things to be fair. This is someone you could have made at work. Uh, this is the one who's in a third party. Mm. This is the one that see you as someone that really got it going on. That person see you as someone who met that financial goal. And they want to apologize to you. Because of someone they saw a loving, happy family with this person. This is who they took to sleep to faith with this person. This is someone they wanted a Steady relationship with this person. Spirit, what happened in that relationship? What happened, Spirit? What happened? Hmm. A person made a decision to marry this person or in, be engaged to this person. A person tried to control their emotions. They wanted to take things to the next level with this person, but that person was too flirty. <laughs> this person... <laughs> this person was a gigolo. <laughs> this person was juggling them. <laughs> and they were juggling this person, your ex, and someone else. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more. And that person manipulated them. This is someone they saw this person as a twin flame. They saw this person as a lover. This is someone that started a new beginning with this person. They made a decision to commit to this person. Because they did see this person as someone loyal and grounded. They saw this person as someone that liked nice things. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini. <laughs> now this person regretting what they have done. They regretting being very deceitful. <laughs> this is why they cut you out of their life. Now they see you as the one who got away. They see you as Miss Opportunity. That person want to start something new with you. This is someone that's looking back at some kind of argument or some kind of something that happened between you guys. That person is looking back at you. At this tower. That person's like, what happened? <laughs> this is someone very indecisive. Could be a Virgo. This person was very indecisive. Because of this Empress. This is the one they saw this person as they wish. This is the one they try to be patient with this person. But this person was hiding things too. <laughs> they was hiding. Uh, mm. All right. What do they want with Sagittarius, Spirit? What do they really want with Sagittarius? It's going to be for November the 1st or the 7th. What do they want with Sagittarius? Show me cause I need to see. <laughs> person want to move forward with you. A person want to make things right with you. This person is watching you. If you feel like somebody watching you, they are. are. <laughs> this is someone from your past. This is someone you could have kids with this person. This is someone that was holding back. Because they was committed to someone else. Some of the guys deal with a tours. This is, this is why they took a break from you. They was holding back because they was committed. That's why they took a break from you. <laughs> but they walked away from this person. Because the person put them in some kind of competition. This is the one they saw this ten of pinnacle with this person. <laughs> but that person is still burdened right now. Because that person was controlling. That person was running things. <laughs> now your person want to send you a message that you're going to like. It could be about money. <laughs> this is the one who had your relationship on pause. So you got somebody coming back. 
They're coming back to claim their prize. If you need a personal reading for me, I, I am running a $20 special for tonight. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. You will get your reading within one to three hours. Until next time, bye-bye, you guys.